broke the law from being a nation. Are you black a nation today? No, you're not. You want the black to hate each other. You got American black to hate Jamaican blacks. Jamaican black to hate Sicilian blacks. We all came on the same slave ship. But all this hatred and division amongst us. Then you rise up in these dumb religions. I'm Baptist, so I ain't with you. I'm Jehovah Witness, so I ain't with you either. You hate each other. All divided. Read it again, that verse. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. We ain't no nation no more. We've been destroyed as a nation. We are the nation of Israel. Twelve tribes make up one nation. That's who we are. And before the destruction comes to America, you all gonna learn this Bible. You gonna come out of these lies you in or die. Read it again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in your remembrance. Do you blacks remember that you're the Israelites? No, you don't. You're clueless to that truth. You quick to point to the white man and say, that's Israel. Christ said that the real Israelites went into slavery. That's who we are. That's who we be. Let me prove that right now. Hold on. Go to Luke 21 and 24. I'm going to show you what Jesus Christ said about the Israelites. Christ said that you Israelites would go into slavery. What do you think the 1600 slave trade was all about? Right. You think it was a coincidence? Ain't no coincidence with God. Here's the proof. Luke 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive in, into all nations. The Israelites will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations. Did that happen to us? Did we fall by the sword? Were we made slaves in all nations? Yes. Yes, we were. This is the truth Jesus is speaking about. Christ the Messiah is speaking about. Read it again. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. The Israelites would fall by the edge of the sword. And shall be led away captive into all nations. And would be made slaves in all nations. Who's speaking here? Christ. The black Messiah with white woolly hair. Read it again. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. And shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So what did Jesus Christ say? The real Israelites would go into slavery. And the Gentiles would live in the land. So who's that white man living in the land of Israel? Christ said they the Gentiles. So who are, you, who are you slaves out here? Who are we? We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's what Christ is proving. Read it again so that they understand it's nothing personal. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. The real Israelites would fall by the edge of the sword. And shall be led away captive into all nations. And would be made slaves in all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. And the Gentiles will live in our homeland. Who's living in our homeland today? The white man and the Arab man. They're fighting over a land that belongs to you. Right. They know that's the chosen city. All nations know that Jerusalem is the chosen city. But no, some of you think, uh, some of y'all think Harlem is the chosen city. Some of you think Chicago's the chosen city. You've been here too long. You've been here in captivity too long. Right. So what time is it? This is redemption time. That's what time this is. This is the time to be redeemed. This is the time of salvation. This is the time of deliverance. Go back to Psalms 83. Psalms 83 and verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So the nations that hate God said, come, let's cut the Israelites off from being a nation. Did that happen? Did they cut us off from being a nation? Yes, that's what the slave trade was all about. They beat it. Y'all saw the movie Roots? See, the, the spin on Roots is that they beat Kunta Kente and said, your name is Toby. But I'm going to tell you what they're really talking about. They beat you and said, your name is no longer Judah. Your name is Afro-American. Your name is Negro. Your name is Colin. So they beat it into us. Now we don't know who we are. We are confused. For they have consulted together with one consent. Oh! Nations consulted together against the Israelites. Who are the Israelites?
Israelites, you black men and black women. We went into slavery for breaking God's commandments, but we are the children of Israel. We're the people of Moses, David, Solomon, Christ, Paul, Peter, John, Amos, Jeremiah, Elijah. That's who we are. That's who we be. Read it again. For they have consulted together with one consent. So all nations were on one accord. They are confederate against thee. All nations are confederate against God. The tabernacles of Edom. Who are the tabernacles of Edom, the white man? Now as he reads out, he names all the nations. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. Who are the Ishmaelites? The Arabs, they are confederate against God. Of Moab. Who is Moab? Moab is the Chinese. They are confederate against God. The Hagarines. Who are the Hagarines? The Egyptians. They are confederate against God. The Baal. Oh, is it Look at it, where you at? Or Gibal, that's the Africans. They are confederate against God. And Ammon. Who is Ammon? Ammon is the Japanese. The Bible says they are against God. And Amalek. And Amalek, that's the so-called white man Jew. Right. He's against God. The Philistines with the Philistines and the Africans. With the inhabitants of Tyre. Ashur also is joined with them. The Syrians are joined with them as well. So what is this Bible proving? All nations hate God. All nations hate the people of God. Right. Who are the people of God? The Israelites, you black men and black women. You're the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Now, I said something earlier. Give me Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4. All nations have divided us up. They hated us. They've taught lies on us. They taught the tribe of Judah that they are the American black. They taught the tribe of Levi that they are Haitian. They taught the tribe of Benjamin that they are West Indian Caribbeans. These lies are at an end now. Ephesians, the fourth chapter and the third verse. So why are we going to the New Testament? Because the Old Testament prophesied the Israelites would go into slavery. The Israelites would be divided up into all different religions and false nationalities. How are we going to come back together? How shall we forge back together as one nation? Here we go. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. What is the bond of peace really? The Bible. Farrakhan tried to unify us under Islam. It can't work that way. Why? Why was there no unity there? Because under Islam, where is Islam from? That's the Arab man's religion. The Arabs were a key factor in our slavery. Does Farrakhan know he's the Israelite? Oh yeah, he knows. But is he going to teach it to you? No. He's paid under the table. That's why if you notice Farrakhan, he brings out good scriptures. But he never comes out straight and says, you're the Israelites. Because his funding will end. So during the Million Man March, there was no unity there. What came of it? Nothing. Why? Because the Bible says the only unity we have is in Christ. As the Israelites, we can only unify when we come back under the auspices of God as the Israelites. That's when the power from God will endeavor us to keep unity. Read it again. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, even as ye are called in one hope. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Bible says there's one body. So why are you divided up into false religions? The Bible says there's one body. What does that mean? You're one nation. You're one nation under the Most High God. Read it again. There is one body and one spirit. And one spirit, come on. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith. One Lord and one faith. So why you got all these faiths out here? What's your faith, brother? Me a Rastafari, I? I'm a Rastafari. I? What's your faith, brother? I'm a Muslim, my brother. I'm a Muslim. What's your faith, sister? I'm a Pentecostal. What's your faith, sister? I'm a, I'm a Jehovah Witness. What the Bible say again? Read that verse. One Lord, one faith. The Bible says one Lord and one faith. What is the one Lord and one faith about? The nation of Israel, because that's who you are. You're the 12 tribes of Israel under Christ that went into slavery for breaking God's law. Read it again. One Lord, one faith, one baptism.
baptism. There's one baptism. One God and Father of all. One God and Father of all. So why you got all these false religions out here? Where'd you learn them from? Slavery. Where'd you learn Jehovah Witness from? Slavery. Where'd you learn Baptist from? Slavery. Where'd you learn Pentecostal from? Slavery. And they forced you to bow down and worship white man Jesus. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.